Hello Providence hockey fans, I'm Nick Rojas. The Fires are looking ahead to a huge Hockey East weekend series against 5th ranked UMass Lowell. The home and home series kicks off an important stretch for the Friars as they enter the final month and a half of the regular season when they take on the first place River Hawks. In today's episode we caught up with head coach Nate Lehman as he talks about this exciting matchup as he gets his team ready for Friday night in Lowell. Let's start the show. The Mayor's Cup got off to a dramatic start when the Friars went across town to take on the Brown University Bears at Meehan Auditorium. And Shane Luke tied things up in the first period of this seesaw of a game. In the second period, a shot by Jake Wallman takes a bad hop off a Brown defender and nearly goes in after a Jankowski redirect, but it's Nick Saracino who finishes off the job as the Friars score on the power play as they take a 2-1 lead. Brown would tie it up and apparently win it in overtime on a goal, but the referees rule goalie interference nullifying the score. Then, with 14 seconds left, Shane Luke gets an open look from the slot and makes the Bears pay. Scoring to win the game in overtime, 3-2 was the final. The next night, the Friars fell into a 4-0 hole early, but they didn't quit on this game scoring three straight unanswered goals by Nola Chari, Ross Merriman, and Mark Jankowski to cut the lead to one towards the end of the second period. But the Bears managed to keep the Friars at bay, as Brown scored once more to win the Mayor's Cup. 5-3 was the final. The Friars went up to New Hampshire to make up a game from earlier in the season, playing their third game in five days when the puck dropped against the Wildcats. UNH jumped out to a 2-0 lead, but Nolichari cut that deficit in half with his power play goal late in the first, deflecting the puck pass Wildcats goaltender Daniel Tyrone on a shot by Anthony Florentino from the point. For the Friars, John Gillies had a solid outing with 34 saves, but the final score ended up 2-1 with the Wildcats pulling out the win. We're joined now by head coach Nate Lehman. Coach, good to see you again. Good to see you, Nick. All right, so three games and five nights last week. Now you've had about a week off since then. What have you seen from your team in practice this past week? Well, I mean, I think uh, we're focused, you know, after, uh, you know, going on that little bit of a run. Uh, I think we got a little sloppy at the end there, um, you know, got away from uh, what was making us successful. And uh, we've had three really good practices now, um, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. Um, so I think, you know, the guys are focused, ready to go, for the most part, pretty healthy. And... I'm um, expecting some great hockey this weekend. Speaking of great hockey, you've had a lot of exciting games against UMass Lowell who comes in this weekend. What are you expecting out of this game against uh, the Riverhawks this weekend? Well, I think the big thing is is uh, th these games always come down to who gets to whose net. Uh, they do a good job of getting to the net, and, and we kind of pride ourselves on being a team that can get to get to the net hard. So, you know, I think that's going to be a big part of the game. Um, I think special teams will be a big part of the game also. Um, you know, their, their power play's clicking pretty good. Uh, our power play's been very good over the past uh, nine or ten games here, so I think that's going to be a big part of the game as well. And winter break over now, students back here on campus. I'm sure Saturday night's game would be a game you'd like to see uh, the students come out and pack Schneider. Yeah, we definitely need that. I mean, playing at home now um, and having the students back, uh, we need it, you know. Um, we're conference games all the way, you know, all the way through. We finished eight, three, and one non-conference, which, you know, is decent. We 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 would have liked it to have been a little bit better, but on the same note, we put ourselves in a good position there. And now, it's conference play the west the rest of the way through, and we have to take advantage of every home game. We got to take advantage of. We've been a pretty good road team um, in the conference, but we've let some games slip at home. So um, we have to continue playing really well on the road, and and then you know get the band in here, and get the students in here, and get our fans in here, and and help us, you know, make this is a tough place to play. All right. Thank you so much, Coach. Thanks, Nick. The Friars and the Riverhawks kick things off Friday night at 7 p.m. in Lowell at the Paul E. Songus Center. The fifth-ranked Riverhawks enter the game tied for first place in Hockey East with Boston University and are 5-1-1 since winter break. The team has also featured a nationally ranked offense, scoring 3.61 goals a game, good for fifth in the country. The offense is led not by a senior or a junior, but rather by a freshman, C.J. Smith, who leads the team with nine goals and 20 points coming into the weekend. Last year, the Friars split the series at a game apiece with the Riverhawks, including a 5-4 comeback victory for Providence. 
And that'll just about do it for today's episode of This Week in Friars Hockey. As always, a big thank you to my guest, head coach Nate Lehman, for joining me on the show today. This Friday's game is in Lowell, Massachusetts. That game will be broadcast regionally on Nesson. Saturday night's game is at Schneider Arena at 7 p.m. That game can be streamed online. Fans and students are welcome to come and pack out Schneider Arena for an exciting Hockey East game. Thank you so much for watching our show today. We'll be back next week. As always, you can follow the team on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for all your posts, updates, and pictures. From Shiner Arena, I'm Nick Rojas, Friars.com.